AITA for missing my grandchild's birth to attend my other daughter's wedding? I am a mother to two wonderful daughters, Sophia, 32 and Nicole 26 and I'm really not sure if I was cruel toward Sophia for my decision or not. Nicole got married this year and Sophia had her first child which is my first grandchild. I've had a good relationship with both my daughters and I've always tried to make sure neither of them felt like I favored the other but I admit there were some rough patches with Sophia. When Nicole got engaged she asked if I would walk her down the aisle since her father has never been in her life. I asked her what about her uncles or brother and she said no, she wanted me. I was more than happy to agree and helped her plan her wedding. My daughter Sophia announced her pregnancy around the beginning of the year. The timing panned out that she would be due after Nicole's wedding so she asked if I would be in the delivery room with her and stay with her and her husband for a few weeks after the baby was born to help out. I was very excited too, and since we already live in the same town and see each other almost daily, staying with her wouldn't have been a problem at all. Instead, Sophia went into labor almost three weeks early, the afternoon before Nicole's wedding. I missed Sophia's first call because I was already almost 2.5 hours away where Nicole lives and helping set things up and doing last minute errands to help. When I called her back I found out she was in labor and she wanted me to get there as soon as possible. I told Sophia I would do the best I could and would let her know immediately when I'd be there. I explained the situation to Nicole, who understandably also wanted me to be there for her but understood that Sophia wanted me with her too. Nicole was able to move her ceremony to the morning and make it a quick 25-ish minute ceremony and there would just be a few hours gap between the ceremony and reception. I thought this was a good compromise that would let me be there for both of my girls. I called Sophia and she wanted me to get there that night. I asked if her husband was with her and she said yes, so I asked her to please consider him as a second choice until I could get there. Sophia got upset and told me to forget about it. I got to the hospital early the next afternoon and missed the birth by a couple of hours. Sophia was so mad she didn't want me to come in when she was moved to a room. I thought that was understandable and she would talk to me soon but it's been a couple of weeks now and I have tried to apologize to her. I've talked to my son-in-law and he said they're both mad that I chose to ditch Sophia when she needed me most for a party. So I am here asking an outsider's perspective if I was wrong to not go to the hospital right away. AIDA? NTA and I'm really surprised by the responses here. A wedding is not just a party. It's a once-in-a-lifetime event and almost by definition has parents there to celebrate. Unless there's an exceptionally strained relationship. Childbirth is a medical procedure that usually only has 12 support people and in many families. Happens 23 or more times. It's nice, but not common or even expected. To have grandma there. And it's not like you planned one of the other. The baby came three weeks early. Your other daughter rescheduled her wedding. In hopes of you making both work out. How anyone could assume you intended to prioritize one kid over another or that people weren't. Accommodating enough considering what was done here just baffles my mind. NTA. You did your best in an unexpected situation. Nicole was able to move her ceremony to the morning and make it a quick 25-ish minute ceremony and there would just be a few hours gap between the ceremony and reception. I thought this was a good compromise that would let me be there for both of my girls. It was very nice of Nicole to change her wedding plan. And it is a good compromise. I've talked to my son-in-law and he said they're both mad that I chose to ditch Sophia when she needed me most for a party. Sophia and son-in-law need to put in their big boy pants and learn how to handle disappointments. They're basically being spoiled brats. NTA. I've talked to my son-in-law and he said they're both mad that I chose to ditch Sophia when she needed me most for a party. It wasn't a party. It was her sister's wedding where you her mother were walking her down the aisle. It sounds like she was wanting your complete attention to the detriment and disappointment of her sister and potential of ruining the wedding. I'm wondering if this has been a pattern between the two and they have often fought for your 
individuated attention? I could see it being more of an issue if she was having serious life-threatening complications. And, or if her husband couldn't be there but she was not alone. But you made a compromise as best able to help both your daughters at important parts of their lives. You are NTA. This was an impossible situation and you did your best. NTA. No matter what you chose. Someone was going to be upset. You tried to accommodate both. But that it wasn't physically possible for you to be in two places at once. Your daughter is being unreasonable. NTA. Sophia had her husband there. He should have been her primary support in the first place. NTA. Nicole was very understanding to move around her wedding so you could be there for Sophie. And Sophie's husband should know it's not just a party, since he is married to Sophie and it was probably a great day for him. You didn't go to a party you walked your daughter down the aisle for her wedding. You are NTA. I hope for your sake that Sophia grows up enough to realize a few things especially the fact that she is acting poorly and could damage her relationship with you. NTA not even a little bit. Her husband was with her. NTA. Your daughter and her husband sound ridiculous. Sorry you have to put up with that. NTA. And you were in a rough spot with this one. Sophia's husband was present and you and Nicole moved a small mountain to accommodate the early birth. If Sophia and her husband think about, they'll realize you did what you could. Any further resistance on Sophia's part makes me wonder about her relationships with both you and her sister. Congratulations all the way around on all the big changes. And I wish you well. NTA. I'm sorry you got one of the infamous impossible situations where you just can't win. And you navigated it as best you could from the information here. And Nicole even was willing to work with you. She's no awe here unless there's history we don't know. Sophia. There's a lot going on here so I get that comments go both ways on her being in awe or not. That said even if she has a reason to be unreasonable. She's still being unreasonable so. I'm keeping my judgment. Nicole was very accommodating to change the time of her wedding. Not many people would have done that. NTA. NTA younger daughter already did not have sister or dad street wedding how terrible if mum missed it. 2. Older daughter was with husband generally. The people who were involved in making the baby are the important ones at the birth. I'm so sorry. Both of these are the joyful. Once in a lifetime occasions. That we live for. There was no good option here. NTA. Being a child whose father ditched her when she was still wearing diapers. I would have been more upset had my mom not walked me down the aisle to go witness my sister's first child being born, especially knowing my bill is there with her. However I am also the sister who would have made sure my wedding date wasn't going to fall anywhere near my sister's due date simply because I'd want us both to shine on our respective dates. Babies come when they want to. While no one could have known this would have happened for sure. It definitely could have been anticipated. NTA. Most first-time moms don't have babies early. You had no way of knowing the two events would overlap. Your daughter literally moved her wedding to an earlier time so you could get back to her sister as soon as possible. I think you did your best to try to accommodate both kids. NTA. You didn't pick one daughter over the other. Her baby came early and you did your best to get there the earliest you could. If you would have ditched walking your daughter down the aisle for the birth. You'd have been ta. But you didn't. Your daughter who moved up her ceremony so you could leave early is a saint. Not many people would rearrange their wedding at the last second for someone else. NTA. 
It was just really bad timing. But if you break it down, you agreed to walk Nicole down the aisle first so you were right to honor that agreement. Also, Sophia went into labor three weeks early and had her husband with her. You cannot plan for those things and Nicole did accommodate the new time frame. In my opinion, you made the right decision. Sophia is focusing on the wrong thing here. Her baby was delivered safely. She's okay she should celebrate the good news. NTA. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.